Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Rally. Last time we beat the Watermelon Cup, which, I mean, it wasn't, I think the only hard part about Watermelon Cup was just the fact that I was playing Spooky, who was a heavy vehicle, or like, someone with a heavy vehicle, which meant that, uh, he steers terribly, but he's fast as hell. Uh, regardless, we, we were able to squeak by with the first. So now we have the Classic Cup, which uh, consists of Galact Galactic Outpost, King's Course, and Retro Mace. Now, now you might be wondering, why is there only three courses? And I probably already stated this in the first few episodes, but there's supposed to be one more course to this. And it's like called the... Uh, like, I forget what it's called, but it's like, it's supposed to be like a Dig Dug uh, course. You can see it in the uh, in the game's opening, but you're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to see it in the game's opening, but that never happens because but it's never in the console version of the game because I think the console I'm I like to believe that the console version of this game was rushed, and when they made the PSP version a year later, that's when they got the course finish and added two extra characters. Although I think the extra characters, uh, Mappy and uh, Mr. Drill. Uh, they, I believe they weren't playing for the console version, they, they're just an afterthought, but the course definitely was meant for the, uh, console version. Now, anyway, enough of that, who are we playing? Eh, let's chalk it up the random. Let's just hope I'm actually recording. Yep, I am recording, good. Last time I tried to do this episode, uh, it wasn't recording. So who am I playing? Inky! And when I, and in the previous take for, for this episode, I was playing Talkman. Which wasn't, which as much as I love Talkman, on Nightmare Mode, playing a heavy character is kind of, like, if you can play him right, then you're pretty much set for the entire race. But, but, uh, if, but, if you're just not very good with the heavy characters, then you're going to be having some issues. Okay, so at least I have some protection ready. Oh, that bastard stole my item. I can hear Polka behind me because his vehicle is extremely loud. All right, so far so good. Then again, this course is really like Unzi Watermelon Cup, in my opinion, might be the hardest. Uh, oop, I forgot I had the cherry. Ah well. I'll show uh, I'll show that off in the in the final lap. I cup. I can't believe I forgot I had the cherry this whole time. And that's gonna kinda cost me right now because Poka used the shortcuts. Are you ready? Do me Do me work, bombs. I said do me work! Damn it! Okay, you think that is no that that snowman can't hit for shit. Ooh, I actually hit. I think I actually hit him. Nice. There we go. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to beat Boca. Because he's. Because he's a heavy character, so he has a lot of top speed. Ooh, actually. I may have a chance. Maybe. Uh, nope. No way. Yep. Nope. Ah, well. It all went wrong when I forgot he, uh, about the shortcut, huh? 
Well, that... Well, that means I'm gonna have to... That means I'm gonna have to win the, uh... The next two courses. If I can win the next two courses... Then I should be fine. But there's no guarantees. My nose is a bit stuffy today. They're ready. Anyway, this is one of two courses that has five laps. The other being the very first course in the game, uh, Cloud Garden. I mean, it, I mean, what can I say about this course? It's 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 like this game's baby park. It's just a simple loop with a bunch of chaos. How did I not get squished by that ball? And yet, I get squished by that one. Weird. Anyway, grabbing watermelons is essential if you want to beat this horse. Because you get that short cut. Bloody brilliant. One of the most annoying aspects of this horse is 100% the boss. Hey, I was able to get through it without even needing a watermelon. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're close enough to someone, you can just you can just take shortcuts without needing a without needing a watermelon. Okay, that's bullshit. Alrighty, I think. All right. Things are definitely looking a lot better. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a. Like, let's see if we can get a ghost. Get back here, you bastard! No. Ooh, Poker cuts seven. Now that's interesting. Anyway, here's the last course in the game. Think of this as this game's Rainbow Road, despite it not being Rainbow Road. But hey, what's a better way to end off a Pac-Man racing game than racing? In the goddamn Pac-Man maze. Or Pac-Man Labyrinth, whatever you call it. Now, there's a lot of shortcuts in this map that I'm probably not going to get because of just how stinking difficult it, they are. Okay, got the watermelon activated. Yeah, I tried doing this with Talkman in the first take, and it was just... It was just impossible, but with Blinky, I might actually have a chance because he's a medium. Oh, Polka stole my watermelon! Okay, Cherry's right there, so Cherry should be coming up any moment now. Yep, there it is. Now all we need is, is Grape. Okay, I got the Cherry, so I can at least use the Cherry shortcut. Yeah, one of the downsides about this course is that it has a lot of sharp turns. But hey, we got all the fruit activated, which is something I I can say I couldn't do with the uh, talk man. Woo, I almost, I almost ran to myself. Oh yeah, the ghost. Oh yeah, one thing I should mention, the ghost. They can actually hurt you, by the way. <laughs> and when you go into Pac-Man mode, I think I missed... I think I missed the cherry shortcut. Oh, hey, I got the watermelon. Actually, no, I did not already. Let's go! And we can use the grape one as well. And now we are at very heavily in the lead. What do you think of that? Thank God! Yeah, and not sure if you saw... Yep. If you see, if you look closely, the goat, 
idea the big goats in the track are, in fact, blue. Okay. Damn it, Blinky! You you broke both my both my bombs. And and all of my stuff as well. I don't know what I'm even talking about. Hey, if I can get a cherry, that would be nice. If not, I'm gonna have to do this worse the normal way. Well, that's a watermelon, which is useless to me. Okay, I do not have a cherry. And I do not have a grape either, so I can't use the grape shortcuts. Yep. So we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. But hey, we are very far ahead, so... And that is good news to us, because that means it's an easy victory for us. Nice try. You ain't you ain't stopping the uh, the inkster. Also, you cannot drift as uh, the pack mobile. And yep, yeah. easy enough. But hey. Victory is ours. Now, I will mention this episode is going to be uh, on the shorter side. Due to the fact of it only being consisting of three courses. But, what can I say? I gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, Erwin got third this time. Look at him, he's happy. Anyway, that's that. Now we only have one more. We have, we have one more cup to do for this mini let's play. That will be the rally cup. Uh, I'll explain how it works in the next episode. But this is where the episode is going to end here. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, please uh, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if uh, record. If you like my content so much to the point that you, you would actually recommend it to friends, then please do that, yada, yada, yada. But other than that, I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we do the Rally Cup. Until then, see you later.